Over the 18th century, organised dancing assemblies run by aristocratic and influential lady patronesses developed as a place for young men and women to meet potential marriage partners, and so dancing correctly became a key marker of gentility among the wealthier classes. Located in the heart of Edinburgh's new town, and opening in 1787, our purpose-built assembly rooms were a new type of social space for a new era of public socialising. Here, under the glittering chandeliers and dressed in their finest outfits, guests danced quadrilles, waltzes, polkas and reels, and enjoyed refreshments such as ices, coffee and negus, a kind of hot toddy made from spiced port. Hosting the most fabulous balls in the most elegant of settings, the assembly room soon became the grand dam of Edinburgh's fashionable high society, presiding over the city's social scene, much like her lady patronesses presided over their dancing assemblies. Soon the assemblies were joined by other new mixed-sex social activities, and the Grand Dam welcomed not just the people of Edinburgh, but many household names of the day, to a growing variety of musical concerts, exhibitions, book readings, speeches and grand dinners. <laughs>